to take the fan. Oh. Oh, I fucking hate. Oh, yeah. Oh. I hate running. I know there's people out there that say they, they enjoy running. And uh, that's fine. Just know you're a psychopath. I guess I shouldn't say that. I'm sure not everybody's a psychopath that enjoys running. <sighs> maybe some of y'all have friends that enjoy running. So maybe they're not a psychopath, but just know if your friend ever says that they enjoy running, they probably kill people. That's, that's a fact. Uh, busted out the old elevation mask. I haven't worn this thing in years. So what I've been doing is uh, I've been slowly increasing everything. Like day one, for example, I ran like one mile. You know, day two, mile and a half, day three, two miles, and slowly just started upping it. And so today I'm running three miles, which I've already done before, but now I'm trying to make it a little bit harder by adding this. Right now I'm on like 3,000 feet altitude, which I think is like its lowest setting. I lost all these knobby things, so all I have is the lowest one. I also need to go get a tan. <laughs> Look at this, man, this farmer's tan is horrible. Got them tan arms and white body, Jesus. But anyways, I'm gonna finish this run and then I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll talk to you guys afterwards. You understand me, me. I'ma get these millions for my family. I was trapping right around in a Camry. I need Okay, and now we are heading back to my casa. Shout out to Danny, who's actually recording right now. What's up? But also, uh, shout out to Danny for helping me with the last video. If you guys checked it out, the how to make it as a pro wrestler, Danny was the one. Yeah, he's called me up, he's like, dude, got this video, it's gonna be all about me, but <laughs> we're gonna have you in as a stunt double, right? <laughs> yeah, man, so how, what, what, what were your thoughts about it once it was all over with? Because Danny is not a pro wrestler. You had maybe three, four months, six months of training. How long were you in there total? I don't even remember. How long, what, maybe a month? Not even? <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> I was trying to give you credit. I was like, six months, you know? Damn, I so. I don't even remember. I just remember it was a lot of running, a lot of push-ups, a lot of shit that was just not okay, wrestling. Okay, yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you definitely didn't get to the bump part then. So, um, how did that feel, man? Because you took, not just one bump, you took so many bumps. Dude, let me tell you, I had a freaking headache. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, cash, you got a concussion or what? I don't know, y'all were asking me if I had a concussion or whatever, but I was like, no, just give me some of that Tylenol, it's just, <laughs> it's just a headache. <laughs> but, uh, in some cool news, this Friday, if you're watching this video when it's uploaded, this Friday, the AEW All Out tickets go on sale. Um, the big show happening in Chicago. So if you guys are able to, if you guys can, get your tickets, come see your boy. It's uh, it's pretty exciting for me personally, just cause last year, you know, I, I was trying to be a part of All In. Um, we got contacted for it, and unfortunately, you know, it didn't end up working out. I was signed to another company at the time. I, I told myself that as bummed as I was, I was like, uh, just, just be calm, be happy for everybody else getting their opportunities, and uh, keep working. Eventually, I'll get my opportunity. And uh, here we are, a freaking year later, and we're gonna be a part of All Out. Okay, so we just checked my P.O. box and um, got a few packages here. 
And so, let's open them. First one here is from Bobby A. Jesus. I need a knife. You did not make this easy for me, Bobby. Oh, that's what's up. Yo. You got me a mug here, but it's a AEW mug. Yo. The note here says, Sammy, my name is Bobby. I'm a 55 year old disabled vet and avid wrestling fan. I've been following you since your AEW press conference. Sorry to see you lose to Kip. Me too, Bobby. Me too. My first match was in San Antonio 1975, where I saw Andre the Giant and Jose Lothario wrestle. Badass. 1975, I was... I was negative 18. Anyways, enjoy the mug. Keep doing what you're doing. Peace, bro. Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Cheers. Next one is from Hassan from Washington. No way. You did not really. <laughs> I put this on my Instagram like uh, a few weeks ago. I did not expect someone to actually send it. A Uganda Knuckles pop figure? Dude, this might be my new favorite pop figure. Let's see here. I should probably say who this is from, yeah? This is from Mike Ropers. Hello, Mike. Let's see what we got here. Yo, I don't have this too, so this is perfect. A Videl pop figure. Maybe I'll put her right next to the Uganda Knuckles. <laughs> what the heck? Is this all the cards? It looks like AEW... What is these called? Deck of cards? An AEW deck of cards? Yeah, they're all AEW. I don't ever really play any games with cards. But then again, I never have cards, so maybe now I will. What else do we got here? An AEW shot glass with my name on it. Um, I don't really drink, so maybe I'll just put some pre-workout in that. Shot the pre-workout. And let's see, we also got some magnets in there. Hey, there we go, I can put these on my fridge. Okay, next. Let's see, what do we got here? We got a book, House of Leaves. Enjoy your gift. Sorry this took so long. You are a huge inspiration and the reason I decided to pursue my dream of being a writer. Thanks and enjoy the book. I will. Thank you. I'll, I'll give this a shot. It looks very big. So, hold on. How many freaking pages are in this? <laughs> oh my god. There's like, there's like five, six hundred pages in this book. I'll give it a shot, okay? It's a, it's a little intimidating. <laughs> but I will, I'll give it a shot and try to read this. What the hell is this? Hi Sammy, thank you for being an inspiration to myself as well as many others. Never stop making vlogs, man. I don't think I will. I might take like a break here or there, but uh, pretty, pretty positive I'm gonna make videos for a very long time. I appreciate you, dude. Thanks, Mark. By the way, I hope you don't already have this. All right, let's see. Let's see if I already have this. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, no way. I definitely, I definitely do not have this. I've always wanted this, but I've just never gotten it. Freaking seven star Dragon Balls. What? This is. This is so freaking awesome. Thank you so much, Mark. Wow, this is, uh, this is amazing. Yo, this is so cool. Okay, one more. 
from our buddy Jake with the snake. Let's see what he got me here. Actually, I kind of already know because it says VPX Bang Energy. And what do you know? VPX Bang Energy. So surprised. Woo! Hell yeah. I'm gonna go put this in my fridge right now. Which, uh, by the way, that's literally the only thing I have in this fridge. Now I gotta clean up all this, uh, this mess that I made here. Fun! But big shout out to everybody who sent your boy some stuff. I do appreciate it. Um, it's not even my birthday, which is coming up, by the way. The birthday's coming up very soon. I'll be 26. I'm gonna be an old man. But uh, it's not even my birthday and you guys always make it feel like it is, so I appreciate the love. And if you guys want to send me anything, the address is in the description below. My P.O. box, that address is located at the very bottom of the description. But in some other news, some places you guys can catch me at if you live anywhere near these areas. I'll be at both the AAA shows this weekend. The one in Cancun and the one in... I don't know where the other one's located, but I'll be at that one too. And next weekend, I'll be in Vancouver, Canada for ECCW. So if you guys live anywhere in those areas, come say what's up to your boy. And I already got my flights for all this, so there will be no issues this week. Last weekend, it was, uh, it was just a disaster. Um, I was supposed to wrestle for AAA in Monterey, and uh, what ended up happening was not AAA's fault. It was not Sammy Guevara's fault. It was a third party company that was supposed to book all the flights and just screwed it all up. They didn't end up booking my flight, they didn't end up booking a bunch of other people's flights and a bunch of people didn't get to go, including myself. It wasn't AAA's fault, but they still took care of me and so I appreciate that. And uh, don't worry though, this weekend, no problems. I got the flights, so I will see you guys this weekend and next weekend. Until then, thank you guys for spending a little bit of your time watching a little bit of my life. Oh,